Yo, what is up guys? Brandon here from Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to teach you how to track in Final Cut Pro 10 for free. So if you guys already know by now, when you try and track in Final Cut Pro, you have to download an external plugin, which of course comes at a hefty price. So today I'm going to teach you to do it for free, but be warned, this is an extremely long and tedious process. So let's go ahead and watch our clip. So as you can tell already by watching the clip, this is a clip of me moving my head where I want a text to be placed above my head to be following the movement and direction of my head. So to do that, let's go ahead and go and choose our text. So let's go text here and let's, let's use custom and drag it on top of our video. Okay, let's go ahead and customize our text. So we go on the top right hand corner on the inspector window. Let's call it, let's call it red black productions. And so it stands out more, let's make it bold and let's give it an outline. Okay, now that we're done customizing our text, let's go back to the timeline and let's go and find the frame where our head moves, just before it moves. So about here, so let's click over here. Now we click on our text. And now we go on the transform button over here on the bottom left hand corner of the panel. And let's go and reposition it to where we want it to be. Let's say just over here, just at the top of my head. Okay, so now that everything's in place, what we're going to do is go over here on the top left hand corner of the panel and click on this keyframe button. Now that we clicked on it, we go to the next, uh, next frame by clicking right on the keyboard and now go up one frame or you could go shift right and they'll go up one second but to be more precise especially in tracking it's usually encouraged that you go up one frame rather than one second so let's go up one frame by clicking right once and now let's move our text slightly to match the position of where it was before so pretty much with tracking, it's just pretty much a long keyframing where we go and go on the next frame, move it slightly, and just keep repeating that same process of moving the frame and moving the picture. All right, now that we've finished tracking, all we gotta do is click done. And we're done, so let's go and watch our video. Alright, so as you can tell, we successfully tracked our image. So yeah, that's pretty much how to do tracking. Pretty easy, right? All it is is a bunch of keyframing and an extremely long and tedious approach of going up by frame or second, whatever you prefer, to follow our video. So yeah! Hope you guys learned something, I'm sorry if this is pretty basic, but that's pretty much how to track in Final Cut Pro without a plugin. So yeah, if you like this video, feel free to leave a comment down below, leave it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!